Let us now move forward to the next question, which is quite an exciting question, but I want you to use your brains first. And which is the question? This is the question. It's called chocolate feast and it gives us 25 points. And obviously, we are going to get our next star if we solve this chocolate points, okay? Uh, chocolate feast, anyways. Uh, I'm going to disappear. I'll just enlarge this a little bit for your viewing. I think this is also fine. Scroll it down. Yeah, please read it. How many of you understood the question? Please put a yes in the chat if you understood the question, guys. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you say no, okay, okay, mm -hmm. somewhat, somewhat, okay, fine. Anyways, let us uh, go ahead and uh, let us uh, read the question. So, little Bobby loves chocolate. He frequently goes to his favorite 5 and 10 store. Now, don't think 5 and 10 is something you should care about. In America, these grocery stores, what we call as Kirana stores or what we call as, you know, small uh, stores, you know, like where we go buy our groceries, it's called as 5 and 10 store in America, okay. Pe uh, so, uh, to his favorite 5 and 10 store called as Penny Auntie store to buy them. They are having a promotion at Penny Auntie. Uh, if Bobby saves enough wrappers, he can turn them in for a free chocolate. Oh, great. Now, they, how does he how does he exchange wrappers for chocolates? Let us assume he has uh, 15 uh, with him. So, he has 15 to spend. Dollars, rupees, call it whatever you want. Cost per bar of chocolate is 3. If he exchanges 2 wrappers, he will get another chocolate bar. So, M is the number of wrappers which must be exchanged to get another chocolate. Okay. Uh, and he can turn in two wrappers to receive another bar. So, I hope you understood what is N. N is money. C is cost of one bar of chocolate. Two is the number of wrappers which you must ex exchange to get another chocolate. Okay, great. Now, uh, so basically, ultimately come down, all this explanation they have given. Function description. Chocolate feast is the name of the function. I will copy that. What should it do? It will take three parameters. Bobby's initial amount of money, which is N, cost of a chocolate bar, which is C, and the number of wrappers which he can turn in for a free bar, which is M. So, three parameters, three inputs come down. What it returns is an integer. What is the integer? The number of chocolates Bobby can eat after taking full advantage of the promotion. So, what they are trying to say is, if I scroll on top a little bit, a uh, little bit more. Here, 15 divided by 3 means 5 chocolates he will get. That is not what you should uh, give because 5 chocolates he got. 5 chocolates means 5 wrappers he got. Now, he can exchange these two wrappers, one chocolate. He can exchange these two wrappers, another chocolate. Again, he will get two chocolates. Again, two wrappers. Again, he can exchange. So, totally exchanging wrappers and getting chocolates also you must consider. So, totally what he initially bought plus what he got by exchanging is what is you must return, okay? Now, at App Academy, we visualize everything so that you can understand it perfectly. Why should we leave this problem? Let's visualize it, okay? For those of you who didn't understand. Guys, this is what they are saying. Basically, I have also become very small because I want to show it to you. This is Penny Auntie shop. This is Bobby, little Bobby. This is his favorite candy store. He has $15 with him, let us assume, okay? Now, per candy bar is $3. So, basically, C is 3. And Penny Auntie has an offer where he says, okay, exchange two wrappers to me. I will give you one more chocolate bar free, okay? So, give two, take one. That is the offer. Hmm? And that is only M which is 2. Now, initially, how many chocolates can he buy with $15? He will be able to buy a total of 15 divided by the cost of 1 bar, which is 15 divided by 3, which is nothing but 5. 5 chocolates he can buy. And those 5 chocolates is what I am also just showing like that. Any confusion? 
Now he'll heat them. Bobby is very hungry. He'll eat. If he eats all five chocolate bars, he will have five wrappers with him. Would you agree with me? Five wrappers he has. Now he has an exchange offer which Penny Auntie is running. And he has, she has told two wrappers, one more bar free. So what he will do is he will take the first two wrappers. He will go give it to Penny Auntie. She will give him one bar free. He will take the next two wrappers. He will go give it to Penny Auntie. She will give him one more. So she And he has one more wrapper but he can't exchange that because minimum is two wrappers. Now... He has two chocolates. He will eat those two chocolates. So two more wrappers. Now how many wrappers does he have? Three wrappers. Out of which two wrappers he can exchange, get one more chocolate. He will eat that also, which means one more wrapper he got. Now one more wrapper plus that last wrapper, he will go and exchange one more chocolate. He will get. So totally how many chocolates he has got. So you can see. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 in the first row, 5, 6 and 9 chocolates is what he has been able to eat with $15 taking full advantage of Penny Auntie's offer. I hope everybody understood the question. Now the bigger question is, did you understand it or not? Put a yes in the chat. Now did you understand? I went inside Penny Auntie's world for you. Now at least you should have understood. Otherwise, Penny Auntie will feel bad. Hmm? Okay, great. Awesome. Nice. Let's uh, <clears throat> go back into the real world. Hmm? Okay. Now, listen to me and understand what I am saying carefully. So, uh, here now we have to come up with an algorithm. So, my algorithm is very simple, boss. I have certain values given to me. The values are N, C and M. N is 15, C is 3, M is 2. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to create a variable called as Choco. This Choco is nothing but the number of chocolates which he can initially buy if he has $15 and every chocolate is $3. Alright? So, obviously what I will do is, uh, N divided by C, 15 divided by 3. That will be the initial value of Choco, which is 5. Beautiful. So, that is that 5 chocolates. Now that you calculated how many initial chocolates he had, now you also know how many wrappers he will have. The number of wrappers he will have is the number of chocolates. So I will create a variable called as wrap. And whatever is the number of chocolates, same value I will copy to it. I will initialize it with the number of chocolates. Because number of chocolates, number of wrappers, same. I will be able to think. Oh, beautiful. Now what I am going to do is very simple. I am going to create one more variable called as new choco whose initial value is going to be zero because using those wrappers and using the exchange offer, see money is extinguished. Whatever money I had for all the money I bought chocolates. Now all I have is wrappers. Using wrappers I need to get extra chocolates which is nothing but these new chocolates. Now how am I going to calculate it? It's very easy. These are the steps I will follow. First, I will say calculate new chocolate after exchange. Now, I have totally five wrappers. Using five wrappers, how many chocolates can I get after exchanging? I will calculate that. Once I calculate that, I will update the total chocolates, the total chocolates with the new chocolates that I have. So, initially I had five. After exchanging, I will get few more chocolates. I will add that to choco and I will update this value. So that I have the total chocolates and ultimately it is the total chocolates that I have which I should return as output. Hmm? Then after updating the chocolate, uh, uh, updating the total chocolates had, what I must do is, I would have used few wrappers to exchange for chocolates. So obviously, maybe I would have used all the wrappers or maybe I would have used only few wrappers, right? So there will be few wrappers remaining. I would always like to calculate how many wrappers are remaining, right? So that's what I will do. Update the wrapper count, right? So how will you update the wrapper count? It's very simple. I'll show you how to update the wrapper. Update the wrapper count means I have five wrappers. Four wrappers I would have exchanged for two chocolates. Then if I update my wrapper count, it will be one because I have only one wrapper left. I hope you're able to think. Then I must keep repeating this process. I must keep repeating this process where I take the wrappers I have, exchange, I get new chocolates. The new chocolates that I got, I will add it to the existing chocolate. So I have the total count. Then I will update the wrapper count, which is how many wrappers are remaining. Now this must keep continuing, 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 which means there is a loop here also. 
there is repetition here also. Now, how many times are you going to repeat this? If you ask me, I will repeat it as long as I have wrappers to exchange. The moment I don't have sufficient wrappers to exchange, I must stop. Now, how will you write that condition? Guys, easy. What you have to write as condition is, repeat as long as the number of wrappers you have is greater than or equal to the minimum number of wrappers which you must exchange to get a chocolate. Now, then, if the number of wrappers becomes less than m, which is 2, then there is no point. Why should I again calculate? Because I can't exchange. Which means this is my condition, which is wrap should be greater than or equal to m. m is the number of wrappers to exchange. Wrap is the number of wrappers you have. As long as it is greater, good. If it is equal to, good. But if it becomes lesser than, you cannot do this operation anymore. How many of you understood my logic? Please put a yes in the chat. Good. Okay. Penny auntie will be happy then. Okay. Now that we understood till here, let us move further and let us try to do something else. So, listen, first of all, let us apply. Initially, number of chocolates is 5, number of wrappers is also 5. So, I will enter the loop. When I enter the loop, the wrap is 5, right? 5, 5 wrappers. Is it greater than or equal to 2? Because m is 2. Yes, the condition absolutely is true. If it is true, come. First thing is calculate new chocolates after exchanging. Now, how will you calculate new chocolates? Very easy. You have 5 wrappers. For every chocolate, you need two wrappers. So, how many chocolates you will get is nothing but the number of wrappers divided by 2. 5 divided by 2 will tell me how many chocolates I will get. Would you agree with me? Which is nothing but wrappers divided by 2. 2 is nothing but M. Which means all I have to do here is this. Wrap. Uh, this step I am showing. So, see. 4 wrappers. I can uh, exchange and I can get 2 chocolates. So how will you calculate that? How will you get this 2? It's very simple. You had 5 wrappers. Divide that by m. You will, you will get how many chocolates you will get. So that's all I am going to do. Uh, that is only going to be my new chocolate value. So I will tell uh, 5 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2. Automatically Java will do floor division which means you are going to get 2. And the 2 is what I will assign to new choco. New choco is going to get the value 2. So, I understood that in this iteration, with the number of wrappers I have, I can get 2 extra chocolates. Now, the 2 extra chocolates that I had, I must update it to the existing chocolates. So, that is what I am doing. Choco is equal to uh, new choco plus new choco is only going to be choco, right? That is what I am going to do. So, uh, existing value is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. So, 7 is going to be the total chocolates which I have and which is what I am also just showing you. I hope I am clear. Then I must update my wrapper count because now I don't have 5 wrappers. I have already exchanged 4. Which means after exchanging, how much is remaining? That is only my wrapper count. Now how will you calculate after exchanging how many is remaining? Very simple. If you wanted to find how many wrappers you will exchange, you did wrap divided by m. And you took the quotient, you took the quotient. If I divide wrap by m, I will get a remainder also. That remainder is only nothing but the number of wrappers which is remaining. 5 divided by 2. Quotient is 2, but remainder is how much? 1. Because uh, it will be 2 into 2 is 4, 5 minus 4 is 1. One wrapper is remaining. That is what you will get. So divide, divide, don't take the quotient. If you take the remainder, it is the remaining wrapper. Now tell me, how will you get remainder of division in Java? Modulo operator. How are you able to think? So what I am going to do is a very simple uh, thing, which is I am going to go here and I am going to tell like this, that take the wrapper, divide it by m, give me the remainder. That is what I want. I want the remainder. I hope you are able to think. And to that, I will add the new chocolates wrapper also because if I got two chocolates, I am a hungry person, I will eat those two chocolates. So, two new chocolates means two new wrappers. So, updating the wrapper count means 
finding the remaining wrappers plus adding the new wrappers which is nothing but equivalent to the new choco. How many of you understood this line perfectly? Put a yes in the chat because this is the most important line of the program. Yes, good, 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 great. Let's proceed then. All of you understood. So, did you understand? So, updating wrapper means remaining wrappers plus new wrappers is only the updated wrapper. And if I apply this, uh, 5 wrappers I have, 5 divided by 2, remainder is going to be 1. And new chocolate, anyways, 2 new chocolates I got, so 2 new wrappers. So, this is uh, 1 plus 2, 3. Now, I have 3 more wrappers, correct? 1, 2, 3. 3 wrappers I have. Perfectly it works. And that is what I will update it. So, 3 I will assign it to wrap. And if in case I do this, wrap becomes 3. Beautiful. That's it. Now, repeat this process. You are within a loop. So, again, the number of wrappers you have is 3. Is 3 greater than or equal to 2? Of course, it is greater than or equal to 2, which means uh, obviously this condition is going to be true. That is what I am also showing. If it is true, come inside, repeat the same process again. Divide the number of wrappers by the exchange value. You will get the new chocolates you will have. So, you will exchange to get one chocolate. 3 divided by 2 is 1. Anyways, update that to new chocolate. Then come down. Then uh, ultimately you have to, uh, you know, update the chocolate value. So, 7 plus new chocolate, 1, 8. Great. Then I am going to come down and remaining wrappers. Remaining wrappers is nothing but after exchanging, how many were remaining with you? So, 3 divided uh, by uh, M is nothing but 1. 1 remaining wrapper plus 1 new chocolate. So, 2 wrappers you have. And that is what I am going to do. 3 mod 2 plus 1. So, 3 mod 2 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 wrappers I have and that is my wrap value. And of course, you are within a loop. You will continue. Now, see, 2 is the number of wrappers. M is also 2, which means it is not greater than but it is equal to. Even this time, the condition is true. If it is true, same process I will repeat was. Okay. So, new chocolates is 1. Then I will update the value of the chocolate. If I update the value of the chocolate, obviously I am going to get 8 plus 1, 9. So totally 9 chocolates I have. Then if I update my wrapper, look at this, perfectly it will work. How many wrappers do I have? 2. 2 divided by 2 means 0. I have no wrappers. I just got one new chocolate. So that 1 is going to be 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 is going to be the number of wrappers I have. And yes, I have only one wrapper. Right? That I will assign. Now I am within a loop. If in case I continue, obviously the number of wrappers is neither greater nor equal to M, which means it is lesser. Condition is going to be false for the first time. If condition is false, you are going to come out of the loop. If you come out of the loop, then in this variable called as choco, you will have the total chocolates that you had making or taking full advantage of the promotion which was running, of the offer which was running. Take this value, return it. This is what Hacker Rank is expecting. Now that the expectation is clear, let us go ahead and let us write some code. As you can see, as long as I have put while. Okay, Great. let's go write some code. <coughs> now, okay, okay. Mm. So, kangaroo, I'll delete all this inside. I'll go there, I'll tell static int and the name of the function is I thought, whatever, chocolate feast, okay. It should take these three values. So, int n, int c and int m. Inside that I will come. Huh. Now, these variables I should create boss. So, I will tell int choco, the number of chocolates int choco is equal to the initially how many chocolates can you buy? The money he has divided by the cost of each chocolate. So, n divided by c. Yes. Next line what I want is number of wrappers. So, I will tell int wrap and the number of wrappers will be equal to the number of chocolates. So, chocolate value will assign it to wrap. Choco, yeah, that is it. So, we got these steps. Again, don't look at these values. Values will not match because this is at the end we have shown. I will go here and uh, now what I am going to do is I will have to obviously write my loop. So, uh, I mean I need this uh, new choco also. So, I will tell int new choco and initially you don't have any new chocolates because you have not exchanged. So, the value is 0. 
Now I'll come down and I will tell as long as the number of wrappers I have is greater than or equal to the exchange value, then I will first calculate the new chocolates, which is new choco is equal to wrappers divided by exchange value. Next, I will update my total chocolate count. So I will tell choco is equal to old value of choco plus new chocolates I have got. Then I have to update my wrapper counts. Now I will tell wrap equal to and I will tell hey the new value of my wrapper is first how many wrappers I have remaining. So how will I find that is nothing but wrap mod m. Okay, plus, plus whatever wrappers I have got from a new chocolate. So the new chocolate. Done. I hope till here things are clear to each and every one of you. Once I come out of the loop, I will come here. And here all I have to do is I should return the total chocolates, which is inside choco. So I'll tell return choco. Okay, cool. Now all that is remaining is for us to call the function. So I will come down and I will just uh, uh, tell it create these values in n equal to 15, uh, then int c equal to 3, uh, int m equal to 2. m. Okay. Next uh, I will come, I will just tell system.out.println and inside that I will just call the function choco chocolate feast. And I will pass the values uh, n, c and m to it. So for these values, answer should be 9. Let us see whether it returns 9 to us. So let us execute it. So if I go mm, put in the relevant command and I execute it, then 9. So it works. Now let us go see if it passes all the test cases. Hacker rank will provide. So I am going to go and I am going to just uh, copy this entire body and I uh, will go and now I am just going to paste it inside hacker rank. Okay, okay, yeah. Reduce the size. Yeah, just paste it there. Hmm. All right, run code. Hmm. Submit code. So, 11 test cases it is passing. Okay, passed. Great. Okay, awesome. So, congratulations. You have now got your second star. Okay. Again, guys, it is not about the stars. Don't live for this showering of this confetti. It is not about this. It is about proving to yourself that yes, coding is easy. Coding can be done provided you learn it in the right way.